All right, boys and girls. So I've been wanting to get this topic off my chest for a little while. And um, I know you guys see the title and the nature of it might be a little bit heavy for some of y'all, but I'm going to go ahead and say what I need to say. Anyway, are women more attracted to toxic men or men that are unstable more than a man who is stable? I know that the word used to be unstable, but now the popular word to use is toxic. Basically, what I'm asking is, are I'm not saying women like them more or want to be with them more. I'm saying, like, are they more attracted to a toxic man more than a stable man? And by toxic, I mean something glaring that's wrong with them. And don't get me wrong, because everybody got something wrong with them. Everybody got some kind of flaw that comes with them or whatever. But it's just that a lot of women who I've talked to, they all have a history of dating men who have something glaringly wrong with them. Like, oh, this guy's an alcoholic. This guy's abusive. This guy's a drug user. This guy's a cheater. You know, stuff like that. That's, you know, it's fixable. But a lot of those women try to stick it out with those guys to try to change them. And I already know right now that there's going to be some people on here who try to justify and defend um, toxic behavior or whatever, or, you know, women who are attracted to these type of men. Well, women can't help who they love. It's not her fault for being attracted to him. It's his fault for being toxic. Dummy. Listen, like I said, you know, I'm not saying that men are not bad because guess what? There's a lot of niggas out here who ain't shit, but those are the kind of guys who pretty much get the most ass thrown at them. Example, look at Future. Future got seven baby mamas. And like, there's still countless women who are throwing themselves at me. Future's, I mean, according to social media and according to y'all, Future is the king of toxic masculinity, but whatever. And anyway, people say it's not her fault, it's his fault for being toxic. All right, that's like me saying, okay, what if I was a drug dealer and you were a crack addict and I sold you crack? Is it my fault for selling you the drugs or is it your fault because you're too embarrassed or you won't admit to somebody that you need help? So you guys tell me which one it is. Is it the enabled or is it the enabler? If you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem. But there's several reasons why a woman might be more attracted to a man that's unstable than a guy who is. Because for one, this is the obvious reason. It's because she sees a guy who is not about the drama. She's a, a guy who's stable as a red flag because she's so used to all these unstable guys coming in and out of her life all the time that she feels like a guy who's stable it's too good to be true. She feel like, oh no, I'm so used to all these drug addicts, drug users, alcoholics, abusers, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, coming in and out of my life. That this new guy, he seems like he's not about the drama and the bullshit. So I mean, thing is, this might be too good to be true. I need to keep my guard up. And thing is, that's the guard. That's the guy who you need to uh, take your guard down for, especially when he shows you that he's worth it. And my second reason is, which pretty much goes into this, is because when they get a guy in their life who is stable and who is not about the drama. They feel like that they are not good enough for him. They feel like, oh, no, this guy's, I mean, I'm going to ruin this guy. I mean, the thing is, the toxic behavior that I've received in my life, it might rub off on this guy, so I might ruin him. And this right here is probably the most important reason of all why a lot of people are attracted to toxic behavior. It, and the thing is, people are so, throw, the word toxic is so thrown around these days. Like, oh my God, this person's toxic. That person's toxic. He's toxic. She's toxic. That kind of behavior is toxic. Everything is toxic. Everything is toxic for y'all because y'all don't know what stability is. That's the main reason. And because some of y'all, some people, y'all are addicted to chaos. Y'all don't know what stability is. And the reason why is because a lot of a lot of it really, it really has to do with the fact that stability is boring to you. Y'all need drama in your life. Y'all need chaos in your life to give it some kind of meaning. And a big part behind that is probably because of the way that a lot of y'all were raised. Some of y'all don't know what peace is because a lot of y'all were raised in a chaotic environment. And there's also this narrative that a woman is supposed to be a man's strength and hold him down through thick and through thin. The thing is, like, that is true. But the thing is, y'all got to realize the red flags when you see him. I mean, like, you know, if this guy is just got, a, got out of prison or whatever, or, you know, he got a history of cheating or whatever, like, just because you take him back three, four, five times or whatever, like, that doesn't make you a strong woman. That doesn't make you, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't even make you less of a woman if you decide to leave that man alone, if you decide to cut your losses and go on, because there is somebody out there who will treat you better. You don't got to stay in a toxic situation, you know, just because you feel like that it's going to make you stronger if you stay. No, it doesn't make you stronger if you stay. It makes you smarter if you leave. I mean, the thing is, if it was more important to know when not to give up is also knowing when to walk away. And that's something that a lot of people really need to get through their heads. What I'm about to tell y'all is a little bit personal. I'm going to go ahead and say it anyway. My grandfather was, he was a heavy drinker. He was an alcoholic. And him and my grandmother used to fight a lot. And my mother, she grew up seeing that. Same thing with my, my grandfather on my father's side. Like he 
was, I mean, he was a rolling stone. He had another family somewhere else. He was kind of a dead, but he didn't really pay attention to my grandmother, God rest her soul, um, and my, and her other kids that much. But, um, yeah, but my mother and my father, they have been married for over three decades. And the thing is, they knew that they had to break that cycle because they saw what an unstable or chaotic environment was like. They saw what an unstable and chaotic relationship was like. So luckily for them and for me, they came together and they made something special. And guess what? They're still here 35 years to this day. But toxic environments breed toxic situations. Toxic situations breed toxic people. And the thing is, another toxic person is going to ruin and damage another person and make them toxic too. So it's a repeating cycle. So as far as women being more attracted to toxic men, it really does have a lot to do with some of the men in their life because guess what? A lot of those men, they came from a toxic environment too. You know, they saw their mama getting beat on. They, you know, their dad wasn't around or some situations like that. But I mean, like I said, it, it, it really is. It's hard to say where the problem starts, where it ends, because it really is a repeating cycle. So like I said, as far as women being attracted to toxic men, it's not all, it's not technically all their fault. But thing is, they really can choose who to let in, involved in their life. And the thing is, if they see a toxic if they see a toxic situation, if they see the red flags, it does not make them less of a woman to walk away. At least that's just how I feel about it. But anyway, how do you guys feel about this? Are women more attracted to toxic men to you guys from what you've seen? And if so, what do you think the reasons are?